trades on the day for Thursday, September the 7th, 2023, minus 250 in live trading. When we're trading the stock index portfolio 34, zigzag NQ, crude oil, and soybeans. Zigzag NQ is up today 1350 plus 800 the last two days. It was minus 550 yesterday. And crude oil and soybeans strategies did not trade the last two days. And we're down the week, minus 9,900, down the month, minus 16K with four, four days of trading. Just a rough start to the month. And up on the quarter, right, almost 19K up on the year, 50K up about 20% on the year. And so um, drawdown, minus 21, 527, just a rapid or normal and rapid drawdown. Prefer run-ups, but these drawdowns are normal. This market is just extremely toneless, though. It's hard to sit through these days where the equity just mainly goes against you all day. You get up the next day, slowly goes against you all day. The next day, it slowly goes against you all day. And so sometimes that's part of trading. And I prefer the uh, rapid drawdowns and then the recoveries. And so we're just getting a market that doesn't really move that much. And um, we'll go over the market and the trades on the day. NASDAQ 0 for 2, minus 685, and right around minus 70 for tick long aggressive. And so 0 for 2 in the NASDAQ. And we are 1 for 5 on the SP, minus 375, minus 137, minus 375 on a depth moving average. The short trades continue to look like this no follow through, tick wave, minus 137.50. Opening chop minus 250 and tick to count trend dynamic minus 287.50. It's a real stubborn market. Won't ever give up a short trade. Uh, never seen a market um, this stubborn about giving up short trades for this amount of time um, over a year. And so we've, we've mainly seen these. It's, we've had some short trades, but uh, a very a disproportionate large percent of them have just looked more like this. And the market won't go down. Gap continuation reversal plus 400. That was the one winner today, along with zigzag. Let's look at zigzag. And so here is the zigzag trade on the day, and minus, uh, plus 1350. And so good trading, short, long. Um, calling those moves. Be nice to have something that called all these little moves in here. But um, we continue to work on markets. So it's. You know, choppy markets are more random than trendy markets, and so sometimes it's better to just trade less than to trade more, but we're always researching the best ways to trade. Here is the intraday price action of the NASDAQ. After this move, I thought we the market would pull back and then just kind of do more of this, but it just went sideways all day, and so not much, not much, it's hard to, it's hard to be profitable in uh, this kind of market environment right here. You basically have a 50-point range from 11 a.m. Central on. And so it's pretty narrow, uh, pretty limited, and summer is, September is more of summer than the actual summer itself. Let's look at the 24-hour session. And what is annoying, I guess, a little bit about this price action is we were, we had some short trades build up in here. And since we are day trade, we exit at the end of the day. Since we use leverage, we have some stops. And so we were right. Uh, our strategies were right. I, I thought that this move would um, be a head fake move that would do this today. But the market actually was weaker. Even though the VIX was down today, um, the market did. We were right on direction, just timing. We... we have a limited amount of time as day traders to get that and that move didn't happen until the overnight session so the trend the, the trend down is at night yesterday too the trend down is at night then the day trade trend is choppy to up today the downtrend the trend is down and then choppy to up during the day trade session so they're just really containing the market during the day and making it difficult to really capture any uh, breakaway trends and so um Clearly a downtrend, maybe a double head fake. You know, we've had this um, consistent downtrend, but the VIX is still up 14, and the VIX was down today. I think the Dow is up. But, um, you know, just kind of a slow, choppy downtrend that's kind of being pulled back like a rubber band and doesn't really represent real selling. Doesn't, uh, I mean, it could, it's extremely controlled for selling, and since VIX is down 
and the ranges are narrow. I still anticipate another move higher as we go into the weekend, and I think this is just being, the market is just being coy, uh, setting up for another rally because the, um, te the technically this is the case. Fundamentally, it uh, you know obviously seems more bearish, but technically I think we're setting up for a rally tomorrow. And so same same as yesterday, the market opens in this price range and then rallies. Uh, could be a good big day. We've had about uh, five or six losing days in a row, and so we are set up for um, you know something to happen. I guess it could endlessly chop in September, so we're keeping a tight rein on it. About um, the worst case drawdown is about 25k, so about four to five k, depending on the market environment. Um, if we're down four to five k tomorrow and, and intraday, I'm going to pause and um, kind of in a wait and see mode because it's just kind of a brutal extremely brutal chop the norm all day long is the is not normal has, has been a more abnormal price pattern um, the abnormal has become the normal and so we have to adjust to that whatever the market gives us so it's making it hard on our strategies right now to trade this toneless market that just is, is overall random um, in its price action and so trying to discern the patterns have been difficult. Going over the micros on the day, the um, minus 3750 adaptive moving average, minus 1125 on tick wave, minus 25 on opening chop, minus 2750 on tick count trend dynamic turnaround, plus 40 on gap continuation in reverse. And the one, there's two differences today is mirror, plus 67.50 I'm showing on the server and so an extra 67.50 plus 77.50 on opening chop 2 these two trades were not in our live trading on the e-minis they show up in the micros and so that is a plus one about 145 extra on the micro S&P's which would be plus 14.50 and so that would take it up um, that would take it up on the day. The hypotheticals were minus 1405. If you add 1450 on the E minis, that would take it up on the day. And let's look at the micro NASDAQ and see what the differences were, if any. We still had minus 6850 and minus 950, 0 for 2. And so micros did better than the E minis today. These are the final trades on Thursday. September the 7th, looking forward to tomorrow's trade. We're due for uh, some activity in the market, some, some more dis uh, distribution or accumulation as we go into the weekend, but we could also see chop, so manage your risk. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.